All right, this is the pulse width tutorial uh, for Nexen from the Nexen manual. You can find this on page 71 of the manual. Uh, if you haven't already done so, go ahead and download the Nexen tutorial from key2sound.com and you can follow along with us here. Um, and uh, if you own Nexen, you can use this to uh, walk through and learn some new parts of the synthesizer. Uh, pulse width uh, and pulse width modulation is basically a square wave whose duty cycle has been modulated. Um, pulse width modulation, modulation is equivalent to the difference of two sawtooth waves. It's a great way to make full sounding presets and changing the pulse in real time or with automation can do a lot to the sound of a preset. Uh, one of the really cool things you can do with pulse width modulation is uh, use the signal as a frequency modulator for a sine wave. With a little tweaking, uh, you can get a lot of character and voice out of a preset. Um, so let's go ahead and listen to the pulse while you modulate the pulse width. From the preset browser, we're going to go ahead and go into the tutorials. We're going to open the empty preset, and we're going to save this real quick. Oops, sorry about that. We don't want to delete it. We want to save it. We're going to save this as PW. And we'll go back into the edit view and we're going to open up a couple more modules, the oscillator 2 and the amp envelope. We're going to turn oscillator 1 off for right now. Now we're going to make some changes to these modules. On oscillator 2 we're going to turn the stereo control on. That'll activate the stereo knob. Uh, the waveform we're going to set to be pulse. That waveform is found under the classic part of the pull-down menu. Uh, the stereo control we're going to leave at 24. One of the cool things about Nexen is that it actually has a true uh, stereo signal path. So when you change the stereo control within any of the modules, you can actually change how two modules or two sounds interact with each other and get a much more realistic sound out of the two of them, whereas a lot of other synthesizers just play all of your sounds through one channel, Nexen actually splits them and changes the sound, does a bit of detuning, and gives you a true stereo path. So we're going to make a little bit of use of that in this tutorial. Uh, the semitones we're going to leave a negative 12, and the amplifier we're going to turn up to zero decibels. Uh, the amp envelope we're going to leave the delay at zero. The attack we're going to turn up to 22. The hold is going to stay at zero. Decay, we're going to leave at 64. Sustain, we're going to turn down to 84. And the release, we're going to leave at 32. So let's, let's play a key now. Let's play a, a note. And we're going to move the pulse width knob as we do this. And we can even uh, set this knob to be controlled by a knob on our MIDI controller. You can see I did that just by clicking on the CC button and then moving the knob that I want to control and then moving the knob on my, my MIDI controller. Now it's linked to it. I don't even have to use the mouse to do it. So let's play a key and uh, just move the knob a little bit and see what it does. <laughs> So we can hear what the pulse width really does to, uh, to the sound of this waveform already. Uh, after we fool with it a little bit, we'll go ahead and set it to be 60. Um, so now let's go ahead and add a pulse width sweep to this sound and uh, make it sound a little more dynamic. Um, we're going to apply a modulation envelope to this preset in order to do that. So we'll open the modulation envelope module, and uh, we're also going to open the matrix 1 through 2 module. Um, this is the first time also that we've used the matrix module. The matrix is a programmable part of Nexen. It allows you to automate and control various parts of the sound of a preset, um, either automatically or through user interaction. Um, so we're going to make a couple changes to these now. The modulation envelope, we're going to leave the delay at zero. The attack, we're going to turn up to 29. Uh, the holds, we're going to leave at zero. The sustain is going to go to 10. The decay, we're going to turn up to 81. 
and the release we're going to leave at 127. On the matrix one through two module, let's go ahead and leave the source to be the modulation envelope. That means that the modulation envelope is going to filter through the matrix. And now we have to tell the matrix what part of next and what module we want the modulation envelope to change. So in destination A, we're going to go ahead and go to oscillator two, and we're going to set it to control the oscillator two pulse width. So now that we've got that, we need to tell it how much of that pulse width to control. And we're going to do that using destination A. And we'll set that to be 62%. That's all the changes we're going to make here. So let's go ahead and play a note now and see how this sounds. So we can really hear the pulse with sound coming through now. We've got a, a sweep on it, which makes it sound a little more dynamic. And this is automated. So all we've done is tell the matrix what to control and how much of it to control, and we get a sound out of it. So now we're going to uh, modulate a sine wave with this sweeping sound. So we want to go ahead and turn oscillator 1 on. And we're going to turn the stereo control on in this one. We're going to set the waveform to be at sine, which it's set to by default. Uh, the FM, we're going to turn up to 54. The stereo dial, we're going to set to be 24. Again, this will cause a little bit of a detuning between these two modules and give us a, an even more dynamic sound. Uh, the semitones, we're going to leave at zero. And we're going to leave the amplifier at zero decibels. Um, let's play some notes and listen to what we've got here. So we're just about there. Uh, let's add a little randomness, a little bit of a human element to this sound. And uh, to do that, we're going to open up a low frequency oscillator or an LFO. We'll open up a LFO 1 and we're going to make some settings to this. We're going to leave the mode at reset. We're going to leave the rate factor at 1. The waveform we're going to set to random and this will kind of give it a little bit more of a human feel. And that's found under the smooth part of the pull down. The rate we want to bring up a little bit, we're going to set this to 13.8 hertz. And uh, the attack is going to stay at zero, the phase at zero, and let's bring the smooth up all the way. We're going to set that to 127. And the FM we want to bring up a little bit. We're going to set that to 26. And let's play that now and see how it sounds. <laughs> Here now how the LFO adds a bit of a human element to this little with the randomness and the phasing that it does this preset comes to life a lot more um, and that's about it we've got preset design with uh, pulse width modulation now uh, you can make some changes to this of course you can add an effect or two <laughs> You can also uh, control other parts of the synth uh, using the matrix. You can get further into using the matrix controls. You can change the LFO rate to, uh, to change the sound a little bit. This is actually kind of fun to control with, with MIDI CC. And you can see how easily I'm doing that right here. I just assign that to a knob on my MIDI controller. And there's a lot of various things you can do with a sound like this. And being able to work fast and efficiently like this is one of the key features of Nexen. It's very good for live performance in that sense. And uh, we hope that you enjoyed this tutorial and the sounds that you got out of it. If you have any questions, just email us 
at support at key2sound.com. And again, if you haven't already downloaded a demo of Nexin, you can download one at our website, key2sound.com. And um, we look forward to seeing you next tutorial.